Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel Fitness Coder. Today we'll be looking at a new problem which is called rat in a maze problem. It's a medium level problem and the problem says that rat is placed at 0 0 position meaning uh, that's this first position and we have to help rat to reach up to its destination which is n minus 1 n minus 1 it's the last position and they have given one matrix which is n into n and they have also said that rat can move in these four direction up down left and right so and the rat can only move in this direction if the next cell has one in it if it has zero then rat cannot go to that cell and they also said that they need output in lexographical way meaning they need output in alphabetical manner so no need to worry about that if rat can move in alphabetical order will automatically end up with this output uh, let's take this matrix into a separate tab we'll see how it goes so as we have said that we need to ask rat to move in this direction down left right and up here rat is present at this position We'll ask rat hey rat can you go down so yeah he'll say i can go down again while moving rat we'll make sure to maintain our output we'll ask again to rat uh, on every cell we'll ask these on every cell and on the second cell we'll ask rat again can you go down he'll say yeah i can go down i can see one there again we'll maintain d here also we'll ask rat can you go down he'll say no there is a zero i cannot go down then we'll ask can you go left so we'll say no i might go out of the box i need a, a special box or a box within the boundary so we'll ask rat can you go right so he'll say yeah i can go right i can see one there so i can go we'll maintain r here we'll ask again on r can you go down so he'll say yeah i can go down i can see one there again we'll maintain a d from there we'll again ask can you go down he will say no out of the box again we'll ask left no it's a zero then next is r we'll ask can you go right he'll say yeah i can go right on right also we'll ask these four things to rat so this four can you go down so he'll say no i might go out of the box so can you go left he'll say i can go left again on left we'll ask these same things so he'll go right again from right right will come to the left and here infinite loop will be there so we need to make sure that rat should not visit the same place that he has already visited how we will overcome this we have to make sure a separate matrix which is called visited of same size which is having zeros initialized in it and once we visit a certain cell we'll make sure in that visited matrix to append it with one so that there won't be a confusion for rat also and he can move in proper direction every time so again going back to our zeroth position here we are introducing a new matrix which is called a visited and same same direction we have to move uh, for this also and let me name it here visited okay so rat is at zeroth position here we'll ask rat hey rat can you go down will say yeah i can go down here we need to make sure these th few things in visited we need to mark every position rat traveled and we have to maintain our output also again we'll ask rat hey rat can you go down so he'll say yeah i can go down one is there and in visited also it is not visited place so yeah i can go down once it covers that cell we'll make sure visited should also be covered and should also be appended with one here we are making sure that the output from this one will again ask rat can you go down he'll say no there is a zero i cannot can you go left he'll say no out of the box can you go right let's see yeah i can go right so here it can go right and we have appended r here and visited also updated make sure that we are covering every way here and from this one also we'll again ask rat can you go down he'll say yeah i can go down again we'll update this visited for down and for this also we are pending d again from this position we'll ask can you go down he'll say no out of the box can you go left no can you go right yeah i can go right there is a one and it is not visited as well so we are visiting it now 
and we are making sure that R should be here. Again, from here, the four same four position, four questions. Um, can you go down? He'll say no. Can you go left? He'll say no because at this time it is visited, and from here it cannot go to the left. We'll ask him, can you go right? He'll say yeah. It is not visited also, and I can go right. And now we have make sure that it is visited. So the current output became D D R D R R, and it is lexicographical order also. Let's cross check D D R D R R. DDR DRR, but there is one more output given, right? So let's check that out. From where we could we could achieve that? From here. See, this was also the way for a rat, right? Meaning it can go down, then it could have gone right, again down, again down, right, right. So we have to make sure or to cover this route also so that rad should cover all the possible ways from his source to the destination and considering these four movement only here we can make sure that on the second time while returning once we reach to the destination while returning we will unvisit the places that we have visited while returning while coming back from one to one meaning from destination to a previous block we would keep on removing the visited marks like this and again in the same order our output will also get decreased up to the position where we could have gone so one down that's what we only need okay here so from here we have to make sure that once rat travels to the down then we have marked our output and marked the place now once it go right meaning after down there was a possibility to ask rat to go right here that we have missed and we have to make sure that it should also be covered so we have asked rat this time can you go right he'll say yeah i can go right don't worry well when we will write the code about it uh, everything will fall in place we'll understand so we are making sure it is visited and we are also appending R here from here we'll ask the same four uh, movements to the rat that can you go down here rat will say yeah I can go down it is not visited as well because while coming back we have made unvisited to the same place so because we need to make sure that rat should cover all the places that he has not visited so down yeah rat can come down again this four, same four questions we'll ask rat can you go right here uh, we 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 missed out that rat uh, while coming back this place was covered so that's why we cannot ask rat because we were waiting for right turn for a rat and it has already covered the down part here so after down it was not able to possible a rat to go left and only right was missing uh, right was pending so we have covered this right and later it was up for rat so this one will also hear from after coming here we'll ask rat uh, can you go here let me update it yeah from here the same four questions we'll ask rat uh, can you go down so he'll say yeah i can go down so again we are making sure that rat should go down meaning this meaning this and we are also making sure that this should be a visited place here so d d r again 1 d should be appended and from here to right so visited not visited again not visited so to right rat has to cover and again here also we'll make sure that these are visited places so d r d d r r d r d d r r this is our second output here uh, this this problem can be solved with uh, the two approaches one is a visited part and second one was movement of rat how it is moving in terms of lexicographical order let me show you okay so here 
rat can move in up direction then down direction left direction and right direction so we need to make sure that or with all these possibilities what should happen in the matrix so suppose rat is here and he has to go up so in this case what will happen with the coordinates because if we consider this as x and this as y then x in the case of let me let me write it like this so x in case of up so if it is up then x will be so it is going up meaning 0 0.2 meaning x will be decrementing because if we can see indexing here 0 1 2 3 again 0 1 2 3 here rat is trying to move in up direction so x will decrement so that's why we have written decrement by one and y will remain same so that's why we have written like this and y will remain same next direction will be uh, down so in down direction what will happen to the x and what will happen to the y in down direction as we can see if we are trying to move rat in down direction so x will increment and y will remain the same here we need to make sure that to write that down let me x will increment sorry and y will remain the same again two more movement are left so one is left what will happen in terms of left with x and with y so in terms of left so if rat wants to move to left so x will remain same and y will decrement so yeah let me write it down x will remain same and this y this y let me okay this y will decrement sorry okay let me oh yeah y should be decrementing okay and one more movement left which is uh, right movement what will happen with x and y so if rat has to move to the right then y will increment and x will remain the same okay let me write that down here y will increment and x will remain the same so these four or these all condition we need to make sure uh, in code as well these four and uh, we'll see how it goes in code and backtracking was also there and we need to call these four in recursive order so let's dive into the code and we'll see how it goes okay so we'll check with the diagram and we'll code so first they need an array list in return so let me create one for return here uh, we must check at first that whether uh, the zero zero position meaning this position the start position if it is zero then we need to return an empty list because rat cannot move any further from that later we need uh, two variables y zero so these two again we need one uh, 2d matrix visited as we have seen of same size and uh, from here m is also there okay visit is also there okay from here we'll call one function so this function will contain a start index then visited then m and and our result and okay and one more uh, output string so this string we need uh, so that every time uh, wherever we come we should append it append our output to it meaning every possible movement that we make should be covered as an abbreviation 
like D R left with whichever movement we make and after this we should return this result array list from here we need to just implement this solve function click void solve and it has this source x and y 2d matrix visited again 2d matrix m again a size n then array list of string type as a result and a string output right here we need to make sure that uh, we should cover all the conditions uh, first of all we are came here and we need to make sure that we have visited this place it was the first place and in the end while returning we should make a backtracking so we are making sure that it should be unvisited and between these two our logic resides here uh, we'll first go down later left remember our moment dlru the same way we will be writing the code then right and then up so for down we need to make sure uh, we should cover all possible ways so it's new x and new y that will come up so here we have seen for down x will increment by one and y will remain same so the same way we have to write x increment by one and y remains the same from here we should make sure that it is not a visited place and it lies within the boundary so we are checking here is possible move which one new x new y where in visited in m and n if it is a true then only go forward okay so we need to make sure of this function also click boolean is possible move uh, it's a new and x and y then we have this visited again we have this m and this n so this newly came x and y we have to make sure that x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than n again same for y we are making sure whether they lie within the boundary y less than n again here we are making sure that they are not visited so again this should be zero and <clears throat> to, to move forward we should make sure that these are having one cell then only return true otherwise return false so we have covered this here if it is a possible move then what we need to do we need to go there hence we need to append our output equal to plus d and with this we need to recursive call and to make a recursive call in solve what we have already mentioned new x new y then visited then m then n then result output and once we come back from there we need to make sure that we remove the last added output to our string so output will be its substring 0 comma so last added character we are removing here and uh, recursive call so in recursive call we need to make sure that uh, the first thing is if this x equal to equal to n minus 1 it's a boundary condition for us 
we are checking that whether our uh, rat has reached up to a distension then what it should do that it should add this output into result and return yeah so similar way we have to make sure for others also for left right and up here uh, we have covered for done for left we have to check uh, for left this one x should be same and y should decrement so for left x should be same and y should decrement then for right for right x should be same y should increment uh, right x should be same and y should increment okay again we have to also check for these initials for appending into the output r and in case of up it will be u so dl r u in the same position uh, for up we should cover x should in decrement and y should be same so x should decrement should decrement y should be same so i think we have covered pretty much of it uh, let's try running it and we'll see how it goes what output we are going to get okay compilation error for what is possible move identifier expected expected okay and is possible move okay okay here i guess let me run it again okay non static cannot be different from static constant okay this was a static method so this both should also be a static again let's check okay we are already defined okay we are keep on repeating this end here we should not because it was already defined now let's run and there you go the same output that we have got so let's try submitting it and we'll see how it goes okay yeah hundred percent so uh, yeah this was the output for this and the approach for the same so yeah it was a pretty much a uh, medium level problem and it's nothing like if you know uh, the approach to it like a visited one and the way rat moves then we are good to code this and we'll end up with the output so nothing to worry about if you couldn't understand it please go through the video again and you'll get it in the next time also uh, so okay okay then thanks for watching and keep tuning thank you thank you all